Hi, I'm Mike Abbey from I Say Blinds. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how easy it is to measure for a double roller blind to fit inside a window frame. So like the other corner uh, window videos that I've been doing for single roller blinds, the double roller blinds is really the, exactly the same process. However, the thickness of the bracket is a little bit thicker. So we really have to consider, probably in a bit more detail, the depth that we've got inside our window frames to determine whether we've in fact got enough room to fit the double roller blind inside the window frame, okay? So let's start by just measuring the depth that we have inside the recess. And then once we can determine that, we can determine um, through blinds and butt blinds that I'm gonna explain in this video um, in a little bit more detail, particularly for a double roller one, okay? So the depth that we've got inside this window frame, you can see it's just a sliding window there's no obstructions, no cyclone bars, nothing to worry about. So the depth that we've got inside this recess here is exactly 110 millimeters, okay? So the thickness of a bracket for a double roller blind is, it's 85 mils to the front here, but we really need to, um, we really need to work with 100 mil of space. So that way, when the blind is fitted, and this is the, the female bracket here, when the blind sort of the fabric comes off the front of this tube, it's gonna create a need for about 100 mils of space, okay? So in this instance here, we've got 110 mils, so our, our, our depth inside our recess is fantastic. So, as per the other videos, I'm gonna hold up some single blinds here, and these are just demonstration blinds, so it's a bit easy for me to handle. I just wanna show you what the outcome of the blind's gonna be. Again, we have a through blind, one blind going all the way through the recess, and then we have a butt blind, so one blind that will come across, and it needs to stop uh, in front of the through blind because that blind's already gonna exist. So if we use the top front double brackets, and generally we'll order those in a front roll combination so that we'll have both of the fabrics in a front rolling position like this. Just wanna demonstrate what it looks like here in the corner. So I'll just hold that blind up, roll these blinds down. The idea of a through blind is this one here that goes all the way through the recess and our butt blind sits like that. So you can see that we, we end up with a, a terrific overlap between the two fabrics and we really take care of any privacy issue that's gonna exist in that corner. And we end up with a really nice, neat uh, outcome um, for the uh, blinds to be fitted. So I'm just going to put these down and then I'll explain to you the measuring process. Now remember our through blinds and our butt blinds. So Sally, if you can just come forward, I just want to show you exactly where the brackets are going to be positioned. So our through blind is going to come through. I'm going to talk about the measuring process of that in a bit more detail, but we're going to end up with one bracket that's going to be situated like there. It's not going to go all the way into the corner and our next bracket is going to sit in that position there. So you can see how we've been able to create that overlap between the two blinds and we get a nice um, clean look um, in that corner there. Okay, so let's talk about the measuring process for a moment. We've got, <coughs> sorry, so I'll just get you to come back. We've got that pencil mark that existed when I did the single video. And you can see I've done that pencil mark really just an extension of the front of this quirk that runs through. To there okay now i can't have this bracket situated hard up against the window frame back here because obviously the window is not going to open so i'm just going to bring it slightly forward and bring it free from any, any obstructions um locks um the other window so it's going to sit about three centimeters um forward um from this uh, section of aluminium here okay so we'll just take that measurement uh again we're going inside so we're inside that recess and we go back about three mils, sorry, 30 millimeters. So that becomes 1180 millimeters. Now, our butt blind is gonna be measured from that pencil line to the other edge of the recess here. So again, we're simply gonna measure from that recess or from that line there to the other side here, which works out to be uh, about 1,090 millimeters. All right. so. The, the process is not difficult. It's really understanding the, the, the width of the roller blind as we have it um, inside that window frame to determine that you can achieve a through blind and a butt blind. So 
if things start to get a bit tricky and you find things start to get a little bit tight in that corner window and you start to get a little bit unsure, then the best way to do it is to measure and install, uh, have the through blind delivered, um, install that through blind, and then once you've got that through blind in position, then you can simply pencil mark to the front of where that uh, through blind sits, and that will give you a really accurate measurement for your butt blind, okay? So through blinds, butt blinds, it's nice and simple. Um, have, if you've got any questions uh, and or you want to email to me some photographs of your corner window so I can help you look over those photos and sort of look over your shoulder and make sure you're doing the right thing, then send those uh, emails through to sales at icblinds.com.au and otherwise, get your DIY on. Thanks.